Hey, this is Matt Kennedy from Gallery 30 South in Pasadena. I want to welcome you to the Wayne Hunt exhibition. So Wayne Hunt is a graphic design illustrator at Art Center. Uh, he's got an architectural um, firm also here in Pasadena. He's in the permanent collection at LACMA in their print collection for design. And as you can see, the pieces here are three-dimensional. They're boxed. They really address geometric shapes. Um, the color theory is just absolutely top-notch. And we've even got, during the exhibition, a video running where you can see the pieces conceived from concept into their actual finished uh, versions of themselves. Great use of color, uh, a little bit of a reference to the Memphis group probably within this, but also throwback to Jasper Johns and uh, Rauschenberg. So uh, enjoy. Wayne Hunt at Gallery 30 South. One of the great elements of Wayne's work is that he uses varying textures to create the design work. And they're not just layered, they're really, really well thought out about how to present different types of materials, be it wood and plastic and metal as on this piece, and even cut into the circles to the piece next to it, which you can see has cardboard that's utilized with wood and with canvas cloth. And by using the cardboard in the way that he has it really does make this sort of dichotomy between not just color and lack of color, but materials of different uh, sizes, weights, and thicknesses. And then of course, they're, they're tensile strength. So between something like this where you've got metal and something like this with cardboard, just within two bodies of work created within the same time frame, you've got a really versatile just take on design and on element. Also part of the exhibition is uh, a video installation. And so uh, what Wayne has done is he has taken elements of each piece and gone backwards with it. So you can see how the des his design process starts and how it becomes the finished piece. And you can see in the piece that we're gonna look at um, coming up here, he's got a, uh, Ian has animated these for him so you can see how they become what they are. You see that he starts with really specific just geometric shapes and patterns. So this is almost like a, a 101 in composition. Like how do you make interesting composition? How do you make perspective work without uh, becoming the overly pronounced element of the work? So these are all just pieces that work in composition to make the pieces really, really well designed. So this is one of my favorite pieces in the show, and not just because it uses numbers, and of course numbers and letters are really easy to identify and sort of create a separation and adding text into um, an otherwise mainly geometrically shaped uh, show, but the way that he's chosen to offset the six and has this line that runs up, and you've got this beautiful use of denim, some black denim, and by having, you know, kind of bent saw blade, it just really, really speaks to me. But I really also like that he's used his framing motif. So this piece has an acrylic frame and he, he chooses often to use this type of hanging motif. And it gives a different sense of space to the works that are on the other wall that have tighter uh, casings or none at all. So that people who are big collectors of mid-century work can either make a decision to use a framing that matches what they've already got in their homes or they can bring his very specific frame that showcases the work, how he kind of envisions it to be showcased and have that speak in and among their collection. You know, and it's, there's no wrong way to do that. Some people replace frames, some people um, you know, prefer work that isn't framed at all that they can match to their collection. And some people like to have a very eclectic um, collection of things. So by depending upon what pieces speak to you, you can always take it out of a frame if you want to, but I kind of like that this showcases both, that you have right across the room a bunch of pieces that aren't necessarily frames, that do have hanging motif, but then in the same size, you've got pieces that change entirely the geography that they take up on a wall, and that changes the way that you look at a composition, which is hard and so very well thought out. 